guys well just got off work it is seven o'clock in the morning uh, i worked i work 11 half hour shifts um so yeah anyway so i couldn't wait uh because if i go to sleep now i won't wake up until 3 p.m the next day <laughs> well this today and i just want to put these parts on uh let me show you the parts that came in and let me show you what they fixed and then we'll get to installing it pretty it's pretty easy i mean um only thing that's gonna be annoying is going under the car and hooking up the downpipe to the midpipe and then jacking up the back of the car and taking off the cat back exhaust because if it was if i had a lift it would be way better but i have this fucking shitty ass jack and it's it's not whatever well let me show you the parts so ets single scroll manifold came in the v-band um they fixed this weld right here as you can see um it wasn't cracked anywhere else they checked everywhere I checked everywhere again. They sealed everything, made sure it's good. The flow test, what we really do, see if there's any leaks. Everything looks good. Broken here. Uh, I kind of thought they were gonna give me a new, new uh, manifold, but they didn't. But whatever. Dump tubes were fine. They checked those out. It's not the same exact ones back. And this beautiful piece came in. This is the ETS V3 uh, exhaust. So I'll be swapping that out. Nice and good. No cracks. I think this one might be the exact same. Unless they change the welds. I don't know. It looks, it looks a little different. I don't know. Well, we'll find out when we take it out. But, uh, so... To put this back in, um, you gotta put the manifold on first, and then throw the downpipe in there so it weighs low, or I can put the downpipe in after because the turbo is a little, a little hard to fit in there. Dump tubes connecting to the waste gates, which is gonna be annoying because of V-band, and then there's no room back here, and I gotta make sure the V-bands are facing this way so I can get there, and it's just a bunch of shit. So let's go ahead and, uh, Start this time lapse, I guess. Fun stuff.
Ah, fucking V-bands. Okay, got everything on. Uh, gotta tighten this one, this one, and that one that back there. And then the turbo's gonna go on. And then I gotta go under the car. And well, I gotta put turbo on, downpipe, and then go under the car. Put the other feet on, return, and uh, then jack up the back of the car. And do the cat back. It's gonna be a bitch to put this fucking V band on this turbo. But uh, the annoying thing about this is if the turbo doesn't fit because it's hitting this or this, then I gotta take the turbo out, move these down. It's so much easier when you fucking need the motor's outside of the car, but whatever. But, um, let me go ahead and hook this up and then put the turbo on. Alright. Everything's on. Hopefully there's no leaks. There probably will, because I did it. Uh, I had a really hard time getting the return line on. So, I'm going to start it. And, uh, hopefully there's no leaks. I didn't put the cat back on yet. I just was fucking taking forever. I still haven't went to bed yet. So, here goes nothing. It's dark out. It's my brother. Um, I took a five hour nap and uh, now it's filling it up with oil. I took a nap, it came out, I had a really bad week. So that's for the return line. So now I'm just gonna check the oil, fix the leak, let it run for 10 minutes, and uh, start it back up.
to bolt in my um, my down my down pipe tubes. It holds them both together, so it's rattling a little bit. So I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna clean the undercarriage of my car from all the oil that was going everywhere. So uh, yeah, fun stuff. All right, currently get my car washed, touch-free wash. This was pretty good. Uh, Jack fixed the idle. Uh, we're gonna be running a little lean at idle. Uh, it was at 11, so it goes between 14 and 15. It's good. Also, I love the sound. It uh, brings out the fucking. Uh, let me turn this AC off. It brings out the sound of the cams, uh, but it's also not flooding my motor with fucking fuel and getting terrible gas mileage. So um, um, I have to go get some Freon. My AC is uh, not blowing cold, so I put some Freon and then. Uh, we're gonna go out tonight. Let's see where I go. Just another day. You know, I get home, I realize that my AC is not cold. So I go buy a bottle of Freon, 48 bucks, and there's a fucking hole in my line. What in the shit? Look at the smoke, look at the dripping. I see it too. Right there. Motherfucker. It's probably rubbing up against that hose. Fuck. It never fails. She looks good though. Damn. Well, now I know what I'm doing tomorrow. HP Logic, got my old fluid dampener, my old OEM one, and we're gonna go check out that AC leak. Hopefully, tack weld it and uh, drop the subframe down a little bit and put the other dampener on. Send that one. Is this on? Of course not. Why would you do this, bro? Zip tied steel braided line. Why would you do that? <laughs> well, that makes a lot of sense. Ah, oh, dude, that's bad. Ugh. Got any other leaks here? Ah, uh, yep, just my fucking. Oh, that's nice. All right, not only was the line pinched and had a hole in it, the O-ring is pretty bad. And for some reason, this is the wrong bolt because it was loose in there or it wasn't. Oh, that's fucked up. So I gotta get a new bolt. Here's the line. Look, see, it's already dripping. Let's see, dripping already right here. So I gotta get this tack welded and then put it back up. And then the other oil leak was this, uh, I think it's the feed right here. This is leaking and it's dripping all the way down. Cool stuff, so exciting. <sighs> I fucking hate this shit. All right, well, they didn't have the tack for aluminum. So uh, I just rigged it right now, put some JB Weld on it. It's probably not gonna work, but it's just to stop this from leaking. Uh, it's leaking when the AC is off and I don't want all that shit to go on my garage. So I just put that there for a little bit until I get a new line. So uh, now I'm taking off the dampener. I loosen the three subframe, uh, the three motor mount bolts on the top. Uh, loosen them all the way to the nut is to the top of the bolt. And then you're gonna loosen subframe bolt, subframe bolt, and then you'll have enough clearance to take this off. I believe this is a 21. 
what is it, 22. And you should be able to get the subframe off. If you can't, if it's not low enough, it might not be low enough here. I'm gonna have to take my bumper off and then you loosen this one right here and this will drop the subframe, I mean the, the motor down a little bit more. So hopefully this works. Just like that, I was able to get it off. Uh, my paint job isn't the greatest. I used a pry bar because it was pretty stuck on there. So uh, now it's time to put the OEM one back on and send this back. As you can see, the grease in there, it's all smeared, making a lot of noise. So hopefully they send me a new one and we can go from there. See in this Hammond. <laughs> It's him and tuna. Just living the life. Dampener's on. Had a little problem with the little locking ring thing. Rivet. He was able to put that on. So this is not going to be making any noise. The OEM one. Uh, tighten the, uh, the subframe bolts. Now I got to go on the top and tighten those bolts up there for the motor mount. We should be good to go. All right, as you can hear, no whining coming from the dampener. I changed it. Everything else looks good. Uh, what else? Put a coupling here with some zip ties, just in case. Uh, I'm gonna go make a hose and get this line replaced. Well, have them re-weld it. Good so far.